Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the BeyondTheMic.com star line by two special guests. They star in the Apple TV Plus series, Home Before Dark. All episodes are available now. Welcome, Jim Sturgis and Brooklyn Pierce. Hi, Sean. Hi, Good morning. Sean. How you doing? Absolutely great. Let's go beyond the mic. Traditionally, roles are fictional. They have no basis in reality. How interesting was it, Brooklyn, for you to play a role of someone who's actually alive? It was exciting, but at the same time, it was super nerve-wracking because I was like, oh my gosh, what if she, what if she doesn't like me? I mean, what if she's in the quarter project and she was like, oh, that girl's crazy. I was like, what if, and like, <laughs> there was this like in my head, I was like, what if, what if, what if? And then um, uh, I did like a bunch of research on her once I got the first script. And, like, I loved the first script, and I was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, okay, I want to research her, and I was researching her, and I was like, she awesome. So I was like, mom, 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 you have to do this audition. She's like, okay, so we did the audition, and then once I found out I got it, I was like, woohoo! And then she tweeted, she's like, I'm so excited to have Brooklyn Prince play me. And I was like, Yay! And I was like, I can do it! What about you, Jim? Yeah, it was. I, I didn't actually know it was based on a true story until I'd read about two episodes. I and mean, I was super excited about the show, regardless of it being true or not. And then, of course, the minute you find out that this, these characters are actually real and the situation really happened, you know, you're just even more excited. Um, and I played quite a few kind of real characters in my in my time, but Matt was great. You know, Matt, he came to the read-through, which is when I first met him, and he was so open and so giving and so sort of aware that, you know, this wasn't a sort of a detailed representation of him. It was just the idea of him and the idea of him and his relationship with his daughter that was was at the forefront of the story. And he was just so giving with his time, as was Hildy with Brooklyn. You know, those guys spent a lot of time together and became good friends. Oh, yeah. And me and Matt sort of hung out, and yeah, it was it, it, it felt nothing but sort of fun and joy, joyful, you know. And they were they were as excited about us making the show as we were as excited about them being the real people. So it was it was a great dynamic, and they loved coming onto the set and meeting, you know, our fake version of their family, which for us by that time had felt very real. You know, we would spent so much time together. That we felt like a little family, and so when the real family came to visit, it was it was really great, great fun. Actually, Jim W. C. Field said, "Never work with animals or children." How has working with Brooklyn proved W. C. wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's not true at all. I mean, I I love working with kids. Honestly, I've worked with kids quite a few times in my in my career, but it's never been at the forefront of the story. It's always been something. You know, my character may have a family in the background of the of the plot line or something. And so when I found out that this was a sort of father-daughter relationship and that I would be working with Brooklyn, who I'd seen, you know, I'd seen her in the movie The Florida Project, and I remember thinking, wow, this kid is amazing. I mean, it's such a raw kind of energy and a raw talent. And then it was quite soon after I saw all of that film that I was asked to come and meet her in regards to potentially playing her dad. You know, and, and I get so much from working with Brooklyn. I get so much from working with the kids. They bring so much sort of joyfulness and playfulness their work ethic is just insane you know when you're working with young people they really help build the sort of imagination of the world that you're creating you know you have to go that little bit deeper and really make it real for each other that you can react against each other you know there's a there's a rawness to it and a, and a, and a realness to it that, that you sometimes can lose along the way as you get older so for me it it, it it was a better experience than anything, I think. Brooklyn, how is it to work with Jim, and what's the one best thing about him? Well, there's a thousand best things about him. I mean, he's like this... <laughs> Good answer, cool, Brooklyn. <laughs> like, he's like this playful, like... Sometimes I don't even remember that he's like an adult. And like, when we're off that, like, we're making so and we're, you know, he's giving me piggyback rides, and, you know, but on set, like, he's a really good team partner and he's like a really good leader to like, cause like when we're having breakfast scenes or like all the family scenes, like there's a lot of kids and then like, there's like a lot of actors and then we're like, we're like talking and then Jim's like, okay team, it's time to focus. And we're like, yes. Um, and he's, 
he's really good. Like he's just like an emotional scene and he knows that like I feed off him. Like when it's on my coverage and the cam camera isn't even on him, like he'll still get emotional for me. And I think that's really special that you can find, you know, an actor that, you know, is really good at acting but also a great scene partner and also has great chemistry. Like he's like a full bundle. You don't even have to pay that much. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Jim. It seems like you've gotten a daughter and Brooklyn, you've gotten uh, an older brother. Um, yeah. Like he's, he's kind of like my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> That takes some. That takes some thought. But I, but I, I definitely feel like I've, I've like gained three daughters in the show. So yeah, there's, I have three kids in the show, and they're all completely different ages. So I have some sort of uh, false reality of what it's like to have a teenage daughter and a daughter like Brooklyn, and then we have an even younger daughter called Mila, and it was her first kind of acting experience ever to be on the show. And just to watch her kind of grow into a, a little actress was, was amazing. And to see Brooklyn kind of helping her, too, and passing down her knowledge and information to help Mila get through some of the scenes. And it was just, you know, it was amazing to be around all those different age groups. Okay. Well, Jim, you're known for being a good poet, singer, and songwriter. Have you ever written a poem about Brooklyn? And do you remember it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, we we write a lot of songs together, me and Brooklyn. If you put us in a room together for for more than five minutes, we'd usually come up yeah. with some ridiculous songs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, we I, we we've made songs about Brooklyn's teeth, how her teeth keep falling out. She constantly has wobbly teeth. So yeah, that was that, that was a song that we wrote. I mean, we wrote songs about pretty much anything you could think of. Yeah, it is super fun. Like, well, we'll be like, so. Mom, are we going to make up today? And he's like, hey, do you have a wobbly tooth? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, wobbly tooth. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then we'll just like start making up a song. And, like, it's like, and then the 80s come in and we'll be singing a song. And we're like, wow. I didn't, I just, they're like, they're like, they're like, wow. I didn't, I didn't know that. You guys can make up a song that fast. <laughs> and they're looking at you strange. Yeah, we can make a song up of pretty much anything. <laughs> we're, 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 we're making an album together, aren't we, Brooklyn? Me and Brooklyn are putting yeah. an album together, which we're hoping to release at some point in the near future. Yeah. It's amazing when you have talented people. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the album. Just send one to me. Time's running out. It's time for the Rocking Eight. Eight random questions. First thing that comes to your mind. No pressure. Oh, okay. Favorite place to relax? Living room. Ooh, uh, my couch. If you could describe each other in one word, what word would it be? Brooklyn? Crazy, crazy professional. <laughs> um, uh, fire starter. Favorite film? Beetlejuice. Good answer. I love Beetlejuice too. Uh, uh, stand by me. In w two words, how would you describe the real Hildy, Brooklyn? Precocious, awesome. Jim, how would you describe the real Matt? Inquisitive mind. Favorite color? Teal and mint green. Uh, navy blue. Thing you can't wait to do after the coronavirus quarantine is over? Hug people. Oh, yeah. Uh, go to the pub. What's the one food you won't eat? Olives. What are those weird fish things? We get rid of an A. I always call them anchovies, but they're not anchovies. anchovies. Yeah, they're anchovies. Um, oh, is that one of those salty? Yeah, anchovies. Uh, I can't do anchovies. Person you want to act with, but haven't yet. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Um, the teacher, right? Uh, Al Pacino. <laughs> Who's Al Pacino? Do you know who Al Pacino is? <laughs> oh. You're not allowed to watch an Al Pacino movie until, what, 17, 18, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think at least 18, man. When you're 18, Brooklyn, me and you are going to sit down. We're going to watch Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're gonna we're gonna have a movie night. Me and you get some popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> we'll watch Scarface together. Okay, but not till eight. Well, actually, no, nineteen. Okay, finally, when was the last time that you guys FaceTimed each other? It was a few days ago we did a FaceTime. Yes. Yeah. Oh, two days ago. Is this quarantine driving you guys crazy yet? Yeah. I'm starting to. Yeah, I've been okay, but the last couple of days I've started to feel like I'm going a bit crazy. All 10 episodes are now available on Apple TV+. Plus. The stars of Home Before Dark, Brooklyn Prince, and Jim Sturgis. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And that, my friends, is Beyond the Mic.